So did you bring the leftovers? <laughs> no, they left. Speaking of bringing he made things, a, he made a funny. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing did you as bring, left You brought over. some bread. Uh oh. I one. My wife made a fresh sourdough loaf, but where's the trumpet? Uh oh. Well, I'll bring it next. Time. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah. Host, I'm hosted. bringing this over. Well, oh, you're not even gonna hold him hostage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you ain't hard. cut me a piece of it yet. No. Nah. Maybe later. That thing's bigger than your head. Oh, it's good. And too. you got a head. Oh, it's I just, fixing to not be. <laughs> I just Well, ate. I fixed that. Hey, break me off a little piece of it. Throw it over here. It's better as right. toast to me. You got a toast yeah, sourdough. You got a toast sourdough? You got to toast it. It's, no. it's really right. good toasted. Me and Godwin don't have oh, to toast nothing. I, don't you know that'd be good with some of that oil and pepper? Oh, pie. yeah. Martin, oh, that's hey, the trick. bust me off a piece of it. Chunk it over here. Well, hold on. I just zip it up. You can bust off your own piece. Well, hey, hey she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, it's one of them. Right, catch it, JD. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. For lunch today, I had uh, sourdough butter and bacon. I saw that. <laughs> and I was really selfishly hoping that's why you were a little late. I thought you may have made everybody a sandwich. Well, I, that's why I was late. And then yeah. I got halfway here and I, oh, well. Well, there goes hey, your bread. I, I just wanted to throw it back over here. I want another piece. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so this is yours, Godwin. <laughs> I just wanted a little piece. Boy. This is like that joint with the throwed rolls. Where is that? Yeah. Lambert's? Yeah. yeah. That's what we got that's going a, on in that's here. That's a big roll. You don't want to chunk it. Uh-oh. Size? I don't. You can keep chunking it. It gets lighter. Right, or that, you throw that, it. that Lambert's up there oh, yeah. by Branson. <laughs> <laughs> that dude. Right. There was a dude up there. He this was is to JD's woman. Across the whole room. So Allison passes the test on her bread. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. she's a bread maker. Yeah. I mean, I could look at John Dave and tell you she's good at bread making. Right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Get out. <laughs> 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 All right, got up in that flank. So. Got me. Allison, if you're watching, very good. Thank you very much. That, yep. you I can't talk with my mouth full. That's why I was late, by the way, because I, mm -hmm. I got to work and realized I forgot it. Then I went home for lunch and got halfway back and realized I forgot it. Again. All right. Trumpet next next time. Right. Trumpet next well, time, people. Right. You heard it here first. Yes. Right. He's bringing the trumpet. Y'all oh. need to buy me a black snake whip. Why? <laughs> that way, if it gets you, I'm going to whip the fire. Out of it. You can reach oh. me with that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it just gets me I'm not. Hand. Yeah, I'm not buying you a whip. Because uh -uh. I'm not sure, I'm not sure you're going to be dialed in the first time you fire that thing this direction. And it's going to hurt. I don't want to be collateral damage. To oh a no, whip. no, hey, I, I can wow. use one. I can use one, boy. Take it home. Make a sandwich out of it. You better believe. Put some butter Man. on it. Oh yeah, hey, put oh, some no. butter on it. Make a ham sandwich and and put oh, it no, in the no, oven. No, 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 no. Forget the butter. Forget the ham. Uh oh. May you get Miss K. Okay, to make her famous meatloaf. Oh. oh, then all you do is you take a sharp knife and cut that baby in half, put Miss K's meatloaf on it, and then bring it to me. <laughs> now, and bring it to I, you? That's right. Have you lost me. your mind? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm saying, son. I, I have no words. You know what else she makes? That with sounds that? fantastic. Yeah, it does. Oh, that that does. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh. Could you imagine e every chopping up some of that pizza oh. sauce with that? That's wild. I still feel like thinking. Pizza sauce? Yeah. So bottom, that's what we do every of Friday. Pan, boy. Bottom of the pan. She makes sourdough pizza crust. Oh. And we might do homemade pizzas like every, every Friday. Every what day? Every Friday or Saturday. What time? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a six or seven. <laughs> oh, it's all awesome. Hey, seven. one of them is actually I might have to go out. see Stone one day. Uh, <laughs> I love Stop on by. So I can't even talk because he got a mouthful of bread. He just, good. Keep, he just keeps going back in on it. I know it. Me too. <laughs> We gonna have me a cup of I might have We're gonna up. have to take a break just for bread here. I might right. not. This might not make it. All, all right, mm. probably won't. Can you imagine a ham sandwich made out of that? Yes, I've had them. It's the delicious. only rule, Godwin, is Allison doesn't allow mayonnaise to go on her bread. Oh, oh that's not. Hey. Right. We like mayonnaise. Hey. Hey. Well, I'll put it between two pieces of ham. But <laughs> it'll never touch it. <laughs> but it's going there. <laughs> Godwin said, I got a little trick for that that will meet the bill, boy. To skin a cat. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> he said it'll never oh, she's, touch it. She oh. Every night she's working on the what the starter and all the stuff. She did that when her, her batteries went out on her scale, and she did that without a scale. 
she was worried. Hmm. No. I was like, I well, taste Taylor, don't worry. Tell her that I don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. It was, right. it was good. She just texted Look me. Look that. Man, she's got an art. She's an artist. She just texted me and said, do y'all have a Look knife? It tastes better toasted. All the things say. We got you a toast knife out. with that. So, hey, wow. y'all see what I can't get out of it. breaking it. Can't get out of it. So is that why they call it breaking bread with one another? That's how uh, they yeah. used to have That's to do it. That's how they used to do it. We're, we're communing just, here. Yeah. All we need is a little juice. <laughs> a little yep. juice. A little juice. A little juice. Hey, we're a set. good sharp axe. You, we could use that for just put it on the table and pay out. Wow. Here's I don't piece. think you have to get I'm that so aggressive. happy. Oh. <laughs> 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 because I'm happy. So if this disappears, you'll be sad. It's oh, disappearing. Yeah. It's slowly disappearing. I told you it wouldn't be as big there's as a There's a quarter. Head. There's a quarter less of it than when it got here. Oh, I can man. say that for certain. That's good with his coffee. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, it's good. Oh my time. goodness gracious! It's what I had for lunch. I think you know what you can get Goblin for Christmas now. I, I know. Cheap Christmas present, right there. Goblin sourdough, happy just, man. You make sure and send us that picture tonight my, when you get home and build that ham sandwich. Oh yeah. Because I know you going. I think to. I'm gonna go to the deli and get some. Thick sliced uh oh uh oh he's thick. Thick. Get some black bars, thick ham. Uh oh. And get some of that cut cheese. Uh oh. That's uh -huh. thick. Yeah. Ooh. Oh goodness. I'm with you. A little yeah. mayonnaise in between. Yeah, forget the mayonnaise. Put that put the whole thing in the forget oven. The get some Dijon mustard put on. Ooh, now, now you're talking. Get some right. big old tomatoes. Oh my goodness. And Salt, pickles. pepper. And pickles. No, we ain't doing the pickles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. You gotta have pickles. Pickles. Yeah. And even, hey, I'm off even a purple onion. For a while. And nice, then, nice slice of purple onion. And then take you a, all that. And purple take you a, onion, I uh, forgot about uh, that. Uh, How <laughs> could I forget? I don't know. And then take you a toothpick <laughs> and run it through a garlic stuffed olive oh. and stick that right in the top of it. That's right. And what you going to do hey, with that? Do, hey, that's just hey, getting away. I'm going to tell you what you do with that. You grab that first. And, mm, <laughs> and like the French say, yeah. <laughs> Get a big old head of lettuce so you have them big leaves Voila. put in there. Like the French oh. uh, hey, I'm I glad. You know I'm what? glad I ate lunch. Let's hurry up and talk. Go. I got to get home. <laughs> you, I like, she makes lasagna sometimes and with a loaf of that bread. And God, the, I, I just. God said, put this podcast on fast forward, boy. We got to get out of here. Man. I used Time to, out. She oh. makes. She makes lasagna. Mm. Oh, no, she this makes is a side. The lasagna. Yeah. Okay. But then you cut the, the sourdough and yeah. you I'm basically you. use that as a spoon. I'm right. Oh, no, no. Oh, so when you, you toast it. it, do you put it in the oven, like put olive oil on it, throw it in the oven on broil or something? Is that I'm where we're at? I'm more of a butter man. Butter? But okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah like, uh, you can use that air fryer. Oh, you I get like the rage. I like the idea that pizza spray right butter is not as many calories. You take you one of them fish fillet knives. Also fillet not knives. <laughs> hey, you take you one of them fish fillet knives and yeah. just, we just start start hey slicing it real thin. I now, think I have on. the sharpest bread knife in America because I've America. never used it. So. Uh, we use ours all the time. Well, apparently, y'all done went through three of them. Yeah. If that's what she keeps throwing, uh oh, he's going back he, in, boy. Back hey, in for it. Hey, he can't stay hey, that middle. He can't get Today's off of episode it. brought to you by bread. Uh, right. <laughs> sourdough, sourdough uh, bread, that, boy. That entered part is. Oh, you're just hulling it out. Uh, <laughs> he goes, I'm making me a hole for my yeah. sandwich to go yeah. with. He's hey. making him like a hot pocket hey. there. Hey. He's going to go, hey. hey. go home, roll him a roll of, a roll of ham and put it in that sandwich. Be ready to go. I did yeah. take the dough one time and made it like a, it was the pizza dough, which is a little different, I think. But I made a stromboli out of it, a.k.a. fancy hot pocket. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stromboli, that stuff's good. Stromboli. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 everything Dang. a pizza is lunch. in a nice what little. What else can we do with it? We can do a lot with it. Oh, with that? It's... Oh, the sky's the limit. Oh yeah, on that it's thing. unlimited for that thing. Boys. There's a reason okay. Jesus called himself the bread of life, didn't hey. he? Is that right? Uh, I, I am the bread that, of life. I, he said I, that. I, I, Sounds I, good I to me. I think, I think that's correct. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Smoked bacon from down in Florida. Uh oh, smoked bacon too. Not Florida, Alabama. Alabama. Alabama that yeah. Bill E's bacon. Yeah. Oh, I have some. I had some of that. Oh, that I'm out. Thick? Oh, you uh, don't like is it? that the one out? Oh, it's on good. Right now? No, he means out like it's gone. No, I ate it all. Yeah, well, I got a you can bit get more. it, and he doesn't slice it, so it comes and in a like big chunk. It comes in a one pound piece of bacon, so you yeah. can cut it as thick as you want. Oh, cut it. Oh. 
Good grief. Why would you care? Hey, Guy was all about that bacon steak. <laughs> 16 <laughs> ounce bacon ribeye. <laughs> That's right. I, I will go. say. Medium. You know, hey, yeah. that medium, boy. That, that was one of the best days of my life. What's that? We were in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. Minnesota. At, at a steakhouse. And one of the appetizers said bacon. That's all it said. And Willie called the waiter over and said, friend. What's that? What, about what does this bacon entail? Yeah, he goes, make? It's just three pieces of bacon. You're going to want to order it. Right. And I was like, three pieces of bacon for $15? Yeah. And they were an inch thick a piece. Yeah. It was like a steak wow. that tasted like bacon. Mm. And it was, <laughs> it was it, it'll go down in history as one of my finer Martin's experiences. Martin's in La La Land. Mm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm picturing that. <laughs> Martin in La La Land. It's over, okay. Yeah. I think oh, we man. might have to hit that power button on that pit ball thing. You, you, right. you, <laughs> you mix that bread with about half the things that come out of that moink box, that buddy. Mm. Yeah. You got then you, you got you something. got you something. Yeah, man. you got some. Lord, have, that's okay. why. Because I, I, I could, I mean, I could eat the whole. She cooks about four of them, when she cooks them in meatloaf. Oh, yeah, oh, Miss K. Yeah, and I, How, I need about four makes... rolls of that, JD, and that way I could eat all four. If of, I hold this in out, boy, you could slide the one deal in there. <laughs> that's right, the whole thing. Hey, and then just, and then just go ahead and oink out. Yeah. Oink out. Oink out. out. Not <laughs> even moink out. Oink out. Just boy. oink out. out. Well, look. Oink out. Let's, oink out. let's oink, oink out. out to a break so right. we can all wipe our face and get us up to drink. Yeah. We'll be all back right, right after this. No, I saw something on Samaritan's Purse website the other day. What happened? That made me like them even more. It was a breakdown of the. Like, if you give money, mm -hmm. like. It was a very large percentage and of And they it. do not waste it. They don't waste it, and no. there's not some dude making billions of dollars no. and flying no. all fancy. But like, they're actually taking the money, and they're either giving it to kids that need it, helping people out from storms, helping our veterans. It, I, I'm looking for it right now. No. Hopefully I find it no. by the time you talk. Yep. For but, sure. I mean, like, and especially this summer, some Heritage Purse is focused on Operation Heal Our Patriots, a ministry to help injured veterans and their spouses. That is something we here at the Duck Call Room can certainly get behind. Um, the veterans are the reasons we get to sit here and opine about it. So when they come back like that, um, injured and whatnot, it's a rough deal not only for them but for their families. And Samaritan's Purse is there to help. I know we've personally helped them pack Christmas boxes for kids all yep. around the world. Yep. Um, I know that they showed up here whenever we flooded. When we've we talked flooded about it out. before. Oh, yeah. Ripping sheetrock. And that like you said, a, they didn't fly here on private planes. Yeah. They showed up in a bus and yep. set up camp in a parking lot. I found it. You know, eighty-five point two three percent of the money that they got in last Goes year what went to, to ministry. Fun. Yeah, eight That's about awesome. eight percent went to raising more money, and yeah. less than seven percent went to salaries and all that. So these people are literally committing their lives to help out others around yeah. them and using the money that they raise for the greater good of this world. All right, Samaritan purse. Look, they walk the walk and they talk the talk. They do. Okay, they do. That's they awesome. actually they actually come in like they come in when we flooded here in Monroe, and you know work their rear ends off tearing down sheetrock, uh, carpet off the floors, replacing everything. Okay, Spraying and they ain't the getting paid a dime for yeah. doing it. And here's it's all free labor from them. So here's what we need you to do: go to SamaritansPurse.org/duck. To find out how you can get involved with this ministry, trust me, there are great testimonies of what God is doing and opportunities to get involved. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to learn more. SamaritansPurse.org slash duck or click the link in the show notes. Hey, I got a, a great vertical. idea. Here, I got you. I got you, guy. When you was talking about your ribs from 4th of July, Ooh. being so tender, the bones pulled Ooh. out of you I can uh, remove <laughs> all the bones. That's right. And slide that rack of ribs <laughs> up in between there. I'm going to do it. A rib and sandwich. You know what I'm talking about. And Make McDonald's you. makes a fortune uh, off of McRibs. But, right. a, hey, but a guy with a McRib. sourdough McRib. There you go. There you go. Well, we couldn't call it Mac. We call it a... Uh, hey, why, Mac? Don't let's call back. it God Rib. Godwin's Goodies. Oh. <laughs> Godwin's Goodies, boy. That's GG, boys. <laughs> this segment brought to you by Godwin's, Godwin's Goodies. goodies. Brought but to you, you have to GG. whisper it a little. He goes, Godwin's Goodies. Because he didn't... He said, you whisper Godwin's the... Godwin's Goodies. Yeah, you whisper the goodies. Godwin's, Godwin's Goodies. goodies. Yeah. I like it.
I smell a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> Got one signature. Check us out at Duck Commander on YouTube. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we do need to just make a ridiculous sandwich on YouTube. We well, do. We've got the bread. I got, oh, I'll we've bring now the bread. got the bread. That's right. We got so. the bread to start out with. It's that's not going to make it by the time. I'll, that's not going to make it till four p.m. I'll put in no, another that's order. Out. No. Like, that's no. that's out. Oh, that thing will be hollered out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All you'll have is that. Paula probably won't even get a taste of that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, baby. I had no, the best loaf of bread you. today. What did you have for yeah, supper? Right. I had a loaf. It's all right. It's it's garden time. Like you, uh, you, you can put uh, vegetables around. freshly around. baked. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn the bread. entrance around so at least you got to work for it. It's that's not that so tempting. See how pretty that yeah. side that's is. Right. Look no, how you don't want to mess it up. Yeah, look how pretty that side right. is. There you go. I'm no, doing you a favor, guy. You're gonna oh, want more of this later. Yeah. You don't want it all right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. No, he's he's reading my computer. I was making sure that I wasn't. Yeah. He, Jesus is called the bread of life. Amen. Why is Jesus called the bread of he life? He said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and yeah. whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Yeah. I was just making sure I wasn't being. Yeah. So, what you're saying is pocket. bread is a good thing. Yeah. Bread is always a good thing. Jesus sure liked it. Right, Jesus was it. Look, here's what, I, here's what I'll say about Jesus He He's, compared himself to a few things. One bread. Yes. What else is he compared to? A, a dove. Yep. Do you know what's fantastic eating? <laughs> a dove. <laughs> a dove. <laughs> Everything that Jesus said he was yeah. are the finer things in yeah. life. Yeah. Hmm. There's no doubt about that. As far as table fare is concerned. I'm going to go. I'm not so big on lamb. Lamb? It's got a place. It's got a place, just not yeah. at my table. Not, yeah. not, hey, it's got a place, but not in the food. Well, either. I think lamb, not in favorite lamb would be fare. a lot better if people didn't surround it by weird spices. Like, if you cooked yeah. lamb like That's deer, true. like if you cooked it like venison, it would be really good. Well, 100%. Stone, I think that Stone did that, but I yeah. ain't no lamb man. So I, yeah. He ain't a lamb man. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm eating not lamb. Not for food. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not at the top of my list, yeah. but, you know, mm -hmm. he'll work. What else? What yeah. else was it? Well, hey, that's but, like our goat. The goat ain't ain't on my table fare either. Yeah, well, a goat deer? ain't nothing but a deer. Oh no, I beg to differ. You <laughs> he begs to differ. Their do difference that. is their diet. <laughs> well, hey, did right. you make deer cheese? A goat. Eats well, I don't know if you got the milk. If you went out there and milked her, you yeah. can you milk yeah. a deer? I mean, I know you can. If she's got teats. You can milk oh, her. Oh yeah, yeah. If you uh. <laughs> There's a movie about this. Yeah. Yeah. There's a movie about this. <laughs> Called we'll Meet get, the Parents. We'll get in trouble if I, I do know. the direct quote. But, I know. But <laughs> could, do, hey. is that possible to train a deer to milk it? Yeah. Has well, anyone ever you milked a deer? Raise it from a little baby, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I've I've been shot by deer milk. When skinning said deer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have too. Did yeah. you drink it? When the, when no, the, I wiped it off quickly. When, it, it's hey, just kind of weird. I don't know. When the bag is full and an accident gets squeezed, oh yeah. 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 Or if she still had a little milk, but her phone was gone or yeah. something, yeah. and you got yeah. her, and you went to skin her, yeah. and you cut yeah. through there, yeah. get a face full of milk. Because people drink cow milk and goat milk, uh, and almond milk and yeah. soy milk. No, 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 We done gone. We done gone. I don't know how they got milk out of an almond. That confuses the snot of it. It has to be not more than one. Good grief! Well, no, it can be. It can be just one. Okay, it, would, almond it might be just one milk. drop of milk from the almond, but it can I'm be one. I'm talking about a smidge. <laughs> hey, well, hey. He said it has to be more than one. I like this episode of food. Oh. Like a cow. You milk a cow, you get a gallon of milk. Well, no, no, I know how they do it. Since he said, hey, I don't know how they get milk out of an out of uh, almond. It's just like how you how do you they get coal. They set it on the table no, no. and they go. No, how do you get a diamond out of coal? You put it under pressure, baby. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so can you, in fact, get blood out of a turnip? That's it, boys. Now, you, hey, How you can't is... do that. You can't do that. Hey, you can squeeze and get turnip juice, but hey. No not. blood. No blood. No blood. Turnip. Unless you put a finger in there at the time you did it. Then, <laughs> hey, then you can get blood out of it. Blood <laughs> like, out of a You're going to lose a finger doing it, but hey, you can get blood. A size solution to getting blood out of a turnip. <laughs> That's right. Put your finger in there and chop it. That's right. Don't Leave move your finger, finger where it's slicing. Go ahead and press it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another one of the world's mysteries. That's right. Hey, boys, where there's a way, okay. Yeah. Almond milk ain't milk. 
Well, no. What do you mean it ain't milk? Like they just threw the word the milk world, on it. Hey, the everybody cl- in the world has almond milk. Put it on cereal and everything else. It, well, it's just they basically just soak almonds in water and then blend it. <laughs> and they're calling that milk. That's almond juice. Uh, yeah. I think it's because the color resembles well, milk. Hey, all milk is the cow juice. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the cow juice when you get one of them yeah. ribeyes with the handle in it. Yeah, I prefer I my it. cow juice to be red. Yeah. There's only one word you can say to that. Touche. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> cow juice, baby. Cow juice. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I, it's nice to see the coffee is kicking in. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make it today. No. Oh, Somebody that made it where you can actually drink it made it. This man, this man said, well, all milk is is cow juice. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's true. It, it, it is true. It's not false. Hey. But I'm just saying, at, we don't call apple juice apple milk. Yeah. So you shouldn't almond. <laughs> you could. And be correct. I guess so. But it's clear. Apple cider. What color got to do? Well, well, apple saying, pie. Right. Almond apple pie. milk should I just like be it. called almond Best juice. Best guy makes it. Oh, we got an apple pie here. Somebody dropped off this morning. Yeah, the, the, the bank. The, who was it? The apple bank pie? people. Bank Corp South. Oh. Our, our bankers dropped us off dropped an apple off pie. Dropped off apple pie? Why, wow. thank you. Oh, My good, wife good. makes a banging apple pie, too. Does she make her own crust? Sourdough. Sourdough pie. I don't think that one's sourdough. Look. But my wife got mad yesterday because she did the uh, grocery pickup. She got home and she goes, Puh. "No almond milk." No. <laughs> she said they gave me the wrong flour. You must have been out of sunlight, that one. Why did you say that? Because you look like uh, Santa Claus. Your rosy red cheeks. He's so happy about that bread. <laughs> We're off track. You here. look good, though. You with rosy red cheeks. <laughs> you ain't been wearing your sunglasses much. <laughs> no, yeah, it's on, the, no, on the side. He don't have it. Don't yeah, like he don't to, have the white deal. Yeah. Okay. I don't like to wear sunglasses. Okay. My hands smell like bacon. Uh, do you uh, like to wear good sunscreen? Good. Oh, I don't. Daddy's okay. hands smell like bacon it's from lunch. Oh. No, but my better wife. Better smelling like taco meat. My wife was mad. I got <laughs> yeah. questions about that, too. No, we've already discussed that. Anyway, weird. She was mad about the bread flour versus the all purpose flour, and I didn't know there was a difference. Well, I fixed eight. I was just fixing to ask you that. What's the difference between all purpose and bread flour? Martin? Uh, are you kidding? I don't know. Yeah, all purpose don't have the Look, sun, I, the here's what I'll tell you. I rise. absolutely love to cook, and I cook a lot. I do not bake at all. None? None. Not no. a baker. Not a baker. Not a, a baker. I baker. like fire. Like. Oh, you like, okay, uh, okay. I'm a, I'm a big no, no. believer in flames okay. when you're cooking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm the so, same way. I guess I got it when I was a child, and the first bird I killed, Dad said, you killed it, you got to grill it and eat it. So well, hey, that goes that brown thing. Right oh, out. yeah. No, no. <laughs> hey, look. And, hey, that bad boy went on, a, went on a fork. I built me a fire and roasted it over there, and, hey, loved it. Yeah. Whether it's Especially char- a brown thrasher, because, hey, he's in the quail family. He's white meat. Oh, yeah? Oh, hey, we have a, we'd have a celebration when I kill a brown thrasher. first one to wake up in the morning and the last one to go to bed. Who? Me? Brown thrasher. Brown thrasher. Oh, he's pretty burning. And he he's sitting on a deer stand. And he is delicious. He's the first one you hear. I've ate a many of them. Can you eat those? <laughs> oh, yeah, can you, you eat can. them? You can. What are you talking it's, about? Uh, you can they, eat Robin. Red breasted Robin is real good. Red Robin. You've the, eaten a Robin? The, what they call the crow blackbird, the big one. He's grackle, yeah, yeah, he's good eating. Yeah, okay. a crow. Well, well he's a grackle. Crow, he's a the black, big blackbird. He looks like not a, a red winged blackbird. The yeah, other not guy. that. No, One he's too little. He's too little. Grackle, like common yeah. grackle. He's the grackle. Got that okay. V in his he's tail. He's a big. Yeah. yeah, he's got a big long tail. Common yeah. or boat tail. They You've eaten one of those tail. things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. those he's, are like in the parking lot at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. They eating French fries, son. They fine. Yeah. They just like us. They eat French fries just like we do. Hey. You eat those? Yeah, I didn't but we'll probably now. I think let's stay away from the songbirds that we've eaten. That well, no, no, hey. bad, oh no, no, hey, you get no, them. Now, no, and, hey. in your day that was survival. Today, oh no, 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 in my day, no, 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 that. no, no. If it was a songbird, that wasn't survival. You got a beaten oh. if you got a if you killed a songbird. Mockingbird, mockingbird, you know, cardinals out. and all them are out. Cardinals out. Yeah, worst whooping I ever uh, got. Purple a few markings. times I had to repent Ooh, because of that. Yeah, yeah. A few times I had to repent, and then you know mainly. 
I, I finally learned, hey, you kill a cardinal or a mockingbird, you get your butt tore up. <laughs> okay, that helped me. That helped me lay off of the songbirds. But anything else, Ma, fair yeah, game. Anything was fair game. But hey, no songbirds. No Ma songbirds. didn't like kill yeah. some. Uh, you know, she liked to hear them wake her up. Yeah. Now let's take our second break. We'll be back right. We're at break this. number two already. Oh, I got hair. Oh, I know you do. That's the problem. Because me and Goblin don't. Because keeps wasn't around when our stuff started falling out. Right. I know. It, it wasn't get, popular. What are you talking good, about, Martin? All kindergarten? the good stuff comes hey. out later. Hey. Hey, J.D. Hey. Sing! I, I, easy to say whenever you got a head like yours. It's fine. But look. You big-headed rascal. <laughs> 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 look, here's the deal. If you don't want to look like me or Goblin and with a... I would call it a receding hairline, but what's after receding? What I guess just gone. Yeah, that's got to be a word. For yeah, me. that's where we're at. It's just gone. Hey, gone's so, close enough. If you okay. want to stay looking like Johnny D, head full of hair, smile on your face, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Look, we got something for you. You've got a million reasons to be stressed out these days. Stressing about your male pattern baldness and receding hairline doesn't have to be one of them. The good news is Keeps can help. Keeps offers the same doctor-recommended FDA-approved hair loss treatment, but they're the generic versions, so you only pay about half the cost. That, that right there makes it a great deal. One more thing you'll love about Keeps, you can do everything online. All you have to do is answer a few questions, snap a few pics of your hair, and a licensed doctor will review your info and recommend the right hair loss treatment for you. Then it's shipped straight to your door. Why make trips to the doctor and drugstore when you can do it all online from your couch? Let's get you started with a special discount. Go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Robertson for 50% off your first order of hair loss treatments. That's Keeps dot com slash Robertson. There we go. Keeps dot com slash Robertson. <laughs> there we go. I was wondering if you'd join in today. Oh, Robertson. Yeah. Keeps dot com. Keeps dot com. Keep all your hair. Can we discuss something? Yeah, uh, I go ahead. Hey, I need to. Well, hey, get it off your chest. I JD. need to get it off my That's chest. Right. Lay it out. We've right. praised my wife's cooking abilities this episode, but I got to bring up something major. Oh, I was going to say, don't go negative on your we're woman. We're going now. negative. No, not, not on your woman. <laughs> she cooked something the other night that was just no good. Uh oh. Because it was out JD, of. JD, do you know the world is hearing this? I know. And I need the world to hear this. Have you lost your mind? It was out of well, a different going. cookbook. <laughs> I want to stop you right now. No, I know it. I, I want to stop you. Yeah, you I can just, try and stop me. Ahead. It needs I, to be said. I just don't know that. I, I, I'm being choked right now. Well, go ahead. You're, you're digging your own I, No, no, I'm, 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 I'm making a firm stand. Uh, Even uh, if uh, I'm in a uh, hole, uh, I'm planting uh, a flag uh, in this hole. I want to hear it. Just because you decorated. Bathrooms and kitchens and uh -oh. living rooms on HGTV doesn't mean you get to make a cookbook, ma'am. And I'm not going to use any names, but okay. that cookbook's just no good. Okay, in other words, but, she tried a different cookbook and the food was terrible. Yeah, so if you're making well, a cookbook, hey, I you want you to look like... Terrible? Yeah, I did. I want you to look like Miss K. Miss K's cookbook, I'm in on. Pioneer Woman, I love that lady. She yeah. can make a cookbook. Yeah. Want to know why? They're cooks. I'm tired of people just putting their name on a cookbook. Just they they, yeah. they, they're not even then, cooks. Yeah. They're not, you might know who I'm referencing hey, that's, if hey. you've ever been to Waco, Texas. But that doesn't mean I you can cook. I would think that. Hey, for all you non-cooks out there, hey, don't put your name on a cookbook. That's here's, the bottom line. Here's what I'm gathering. Yes. <laughs> you would rather somebody that looked like me and Goblin Amen. make a cookbook versus yeah. Cy. So what, oh. about, what about a yes, food? Yes, yes. Hey, look. <laughs> We can pull common sense in this little discussion here. You don't never want to buy a skinny man's cookbook. Well, and I'm not even saying okay, that they got to be hey, skinny. It's, it's, the evidence is there. He can't cook. Well, there's one exception. Uh-oh. One exception. Uh-oh. You was there. Who? And you was there. I wasn't that there. That cook down there in Florida. Oh, we young went. Nathan? But look, um, he was... Down there at, uh, well, him too. Yeah. <laughs> him too. But, down there in Florida when we went. Yeah, but see, they're cooking. But they're cook. cooking other people's recipes, so, which is yeah. that's a. They hadn't written a book. Skinny. They a hadn't written a book. I'm yeah. not even going with size. Okay. Yeah, but she cooked. Well, I know, but hey, yeah. look. It's, well, Allison, it's, it's is like tiny. it's like the proof in the pudding. She's a great cook. That's just because it all comes down to can you follow instructions. Yeah. And the person writing the instructions yeah. needs but, to know how to do but it. But there's this new fad where if you're famous, you make a cookbook. Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg has a cookbook. 
Which Come is on. hilarious, by it's the way. It's funny. We, we both own it. <laughs> I bought it because yes, it made right. me laugh. Exactly. That don't yeah. mean I'm going to follow it. No. Yeah. Like, now it's like, oh, what's the, look. But it's a good toilet. Really. Even if you're on HGTV, I don't want your cookbook. I only want people on the Food Network's cookbook. Yeah. Bobby Flay, send me one. I'm in, Mr. Bobby. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. them people, send me one. Yeah. Well, that's, but, the, that's the deal about hey, Not everybody, okay, can cook. Cook all your life. Nobody calls yeah. you a chef, yeah. right? Uh, uh, yeah. They put balsamic no. vinegar on Brussels sprouts. Look, oh, most balsamic vinegar on hey. against the law. See? No, hey. That's whoa, why whoa. I was upset. Whoa, no, 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 no. I knew I'd know. have you all there. Si no. loves vinegar. No, no, look. I, I can drink vinegar. vinegar straight out of the bottle. Si loves vinegar. Some, I love vinegar. Loves it. Something okay. happened in Vietnam. There's nothing better than you know, vinegar on some yeah. kind no, of salad. It's not even that. Like, I'll say my grandparents were the same way. Oh. Loved vinegar. Why? Like anything vinegar. Look, it's a preservative, guy. It's because they pickled <laughs> everything. Okay. He's, he got very offended. So no, that's no. why you live so long. <laughs> well, hey, I'm just telling you, it's a preservative, okay? That's how he you, beat you COVID. Put stuff, hey, you put stuff like tomato, you know, uh, pickles in it, and you can then eat them. Cucumber. Yeah. You're talking about like. Cucumber? Yeah, yeah, my grandparents. It takes a to... cucumber, no, okay, and then pickles it. Yeah. Okay. They call that it takes okra. Okra and pickles it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and you can <laughs> eat it later. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Okay. Now, hey, anyways, don't mess with vinegar. Okay, it's a preservative, it. buddy. Yeah, I thought well, I'm I'm with you though. I think they like it so much because they grew up eating right. it because yeah. refrigerators weren't in every oh, house. Yeah. Like yeah. they had to preserve a lot of their food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And when you wow. get used to that, vinegar is what it is, you know. Oh, so, no, no, no. That's, that's why I like, hey, yo, you got to understand. I grew up in the, in the 50s, okay, mm-hmm. but 1950s, okay, but we lived like we was back in the 1850s. Yeah. No okay? refrigerator, so no when freezer. When Mama said, hey, we need, we need some bacon, well, I guess what? One of the kids went out to the smokehouse. and we. I want a bill to smoke. We, hey, we just pulled a big slab of smoke bacon and then she cut it like like he said cut it thick as you want it baby mm-hmm. i want a bell to smoke out. oh no 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 hey yeah I do that too. Was, uh, yeah but hey <laughs> yeah that was one of them deals that oh yeah it was worth it <laughs> no 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 hey. everything everything is fresh i know okay <laughs> that's why he wants to build one well what do you what y'all just built a fire in it <laughs> we had a it was like a on the outside of it in a yeah, box un- it was un- a underneath box. underneath and it just Und- underneath, the okay, it's like a uh, make a say it's a small barn, okay. And this was logs, okay, that my my dad and my uncle put together, okay. Yeah. And then you had a took a fifty five gallon drum, okay, cut it in half, put all your wood and stuff in there under it, okay, and it come up through through the crack in the floor, okay. It's like yeah. a sauna. It's yeah. With yeah. Water. You had to hey, you had to build it yeah. for the cracks for the Smoke could come up through the, in, in mm-hmm. the whole thing. So, when you go in there, when you was actually smoking it, oh, you, you know, you couldn't stand in there, stay in there alone. How many and animals so, did y'all have? Uh, oh, no, 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 look. Would you put, when you hang the meat in it, let's say you you, you butcher the hog. Hams. Hang the hams, okay? Just and like, don't I was gonna, put I no. I was going to go that way, okay? My dad and my Uncle Marvin, they went half on beef, pigs, Chickens, yeah, you know, they, and they, I mean a bunch. They bought, you know, they bought a bunch of them, okay. And we raised them, okay. And then we slaughtered them, and then we hung beef in there. We hung pigs in there, you know. Do we you had salt you know, and when, season it, yeah, yeah. And then oh, yeah, just put hang. whatever you want on it, yeah. You had chickens in there. That's weird. How come it? No, don't run? we raised chickens uh, for eggs. You know, for, oh, eggs it's and oh, uh, when and they was little, smoke. fryers preserve and chicken. Well, they would preserve young, it young with fry. salt. Yeah, first. Yeah, you cover it with salt, pretty mm-hmm. heavy. Yeah, yeah, because when we wanted ham, we yeah. just went in there and grabbed us a yeah big ham, and yeah. that's like country ham. Oh yeah, country ham. And then Mama go in there and slice off what we make sandwiches. Yeah, mm-hmm. boy, that's <laughs> <sounds weird. laughs> no, no, oh no, hey, yeah. I was that. waiting on it. Yeah, Goblin was just staring. I knew that, I knew that was it was going. like you oh, just had ham good. hanging yeah, behind your that. house. No, you just had self serve ham. ham. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> He'd get a beehive and hang it over the top of it and let that honey just drip. Oh, down no, on. no, look. See, I, hey, look, that's the way you we got grew up. Honey smoke. No, no, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Now that you brought that up, look, we're sitting out on the porch, okay, in the summertime. Hot. 
porch okay. in the summertime. Here Fine. comes, we look, here comes a black swarm of honeybees. No, no, hey. Yeah. This lady next door to us had that, uh, 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 I can't think it's a veranda that's got uh, uh, roots that flower. Yeah, verbena. Purple. Yeah. Verbena, yeah. Okay, this thing is runs for, oh, hey, it runs the entire house length, okay? Mm-hmm. So, hey, here comes this big swarm of bees. My dad looked at it and said, okay, whoo, hell right. Yeah. You know, we watched them. They went over and got on one of them vines. It's about to big around. You know, that come down, okay, and it was opening. They all lit on each other. And it's a ball, okay, about this big around. Protecting that, the queen. On that root. Mm-hmm. So my dad goes back there. We had a little house that a lady lived in. He went back there, went around there into the pine knot. He took a hammer, pow. Knock that pine knot in, okay? There's a hole in, in the wall now, okay? Went around there. He said, come on, come on, boy. And, you know, I'm, I'm going with him. And uh, he walks up to this big ball of bees, okay? And that, mm, mm, you know, he said, grab that right there. I'm going to cut it. I said, do what? <laughs> you, know, you want me to what? <laughs> <laughs> you what? He said, grab that limb, boy, and hold it and don't shake it. Daddy, call Phil. <laughs> you know, I'm like this. I'm like, he said, I mean right now. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there, yo. So he cut it off, and I'm sitting there holding it. And, hey, we got bees, a <laughs> ball of bees, this big range of <laughs> So he cuts the other end off, and look, he had already set two chairs out in front of that pine knot hole. We walked around there very carefully, okay? <laughs> and he set it down. He had another chair, and he sits down like this right here, okay? And he's watching these bees roll on top of each other, and then he goes, <laughs> yeah. As soon as it, <laughs> a bee hit in that hole, it was, <laughs> <laughs> and one of them went in that hole. Following the queen. Oh, following the queen. And look, from then on, every time it was time to rob the beehive, he had took a, Skill saw, cut him a door, okay, and then nailed it back up. So when we got ready to rob it, all they did is pull the two nails. Poor gently, man's bee box. Yeah, gently lower this and turn it around and set it down because there is a big hunk of honey comb on the back of this board. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh honey, honey fresh ham. Here. Look here. Look they here. was living, guys. Okay. Living. Then sit down there and, hey, take that, cut it off in a three number three wash tub. Foot it slammed to the top, okay, with honeycomb and honey. And then Mama would put up about oh, 40 jars of honey and honeycomb. Yeah. She and pint still jars a piece and, of that honey. Right, then comb about, and okay, comb. time for biscuits and bacon and honey mm. for breakfast. Mayhaw. Oh, Jim. that was living. Okay, trust me. Well, look, let's live right on into our next break. We'll be back right after this. I just hope a bunch of blue raspberry airheads show That's up right. this week. Hey, he, he's bouncing off the wall. I wish we'd get back on them peanut M&M. I like oh, airheads. Hey, where are they at? I don't know. We ain't got none, but I wish somebody would use stamps.com to ship us some peanut Oh, M &M. they should. Hey, hey get on stamps.com right now. Ship us some blue airheads. 117 Kings Lane. Peanut, Attention, Martin. Peanut right. butter M&Ms or just peanut M&Ms? Yes. Or peanut just yes. M&Ms. Yes. yes. Or crunchy M&Ms. Yeah. Just not them weird ones. It's got like habanero peppers and no, coffee no, no, no. and all that stuff. Well, just the original yeah. peanut M&M. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've done gone too far. Regulation M&Ms. That's all. That's but look. If you use stamps.com to send it to us, you're going to save a ton of money. We use stamps.com here at Duck Commander because why? it saves us a ton of money. That's and right. it's super easy. It gives you the best rates from the USPS and UPS plus more. This summer is showing welcoming signs of a more normal life. Finally, you can get back to enjoying life's little pleasures like smiling at your neighbor, seeing a movie, and going to the post office. No, nobody, nobody wants to go to That's the post out. office, That's right? Out. That's a bad deal. So you can do it all from the comfort of your home. Some parts of normal life aren't so great, but with Stamps.com, you can skip the trips to the post office and save on postage, mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, pay less, a lot less with those discounted rates from the USPS and UPS. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. We are one of those businesses that that works for. So it Ooh. brings it all straight to your computer. Super simple. So stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code DUCK, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. There are no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. 
click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in duck. That's stamps.com, promo code duck. Stamps.com, never go to the post office right. again. again. And send us M&Ms and Airheads. That's right, boys. Yeah, okay. let's do world problems. Let's see what kind of problem we're going to deal with. All right, okay. Keith again. Apparently, we've read something from Keith. I this is the modern one. day Dear Abby right here. Okay, this that's it. It's your favorite day. question asking redneck from Mississippi, Keith. Oh, big Keith. How do we know oh. he's So here's favorite. the problem they have a huge roadkill problem. They got possums, armadillos, coons, deers, beavers, and even the occasional alligator. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I said that so weird. Their solution with people with shovels isn't effective enough. How would Uncle Cy solve this problem? Oh, no, no. First of all, okay, you got this identified wrong. Done. Okay. My job is a lot. A lot of roadkill and, and the animals, critters you named. Okay, that's not a problem. Okay. Especially armadillos. Oh, no. Armadillos, coons, okay, beavers, okay. All of these are nuisances, okay? So you don't really have a problem, okay? But you're talking about, okay, is there a good way to clean this up? Yeah. So the And, the, and he asked one more question. What would you do with all that sun-baked, sm- delicious smelling meat once it's been <laughs> removed from the road? I got a lot of questions about that, Keith. But how do we get it off the road, and what do we do with it? You let, hey, look, the Almighty put into effect when he created all this stuff. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, he's done gave them. Okay, there's flies, buzzards, okay, and critters that will eat all that off it's of the, the highway quickly. Of life. Yeah. Okay, buzzards got to eat. Okay, yeah. buzzards got to eat. Worms have got to eat. And hey, look, I said flies. The lava, maggot. That's, that's a maggot. That's a, that's a baby fly, okay, mm-hmm. in the making. Yeah. Okay, and look, the Lord Almighty took back. care of all that, okay? Because trust me when I tell you, when that meat gets to smelling right, here they, comes the flies and here comes the bugs. They coming. They yeah. coming to it, okay? And hey, it won't take them long to clean it up. There ain't nobody getting hoop nuts around there. Uh, again. Well, hey, now that's a good point. Guy just brought up a good point since my brother done that for a living for 25 years. That kind of stuff you can put in hoop nets and hey, here comes the catfish, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want to eat what he said. Well, no, no. Hey, they're scavengers, okay? Well, you throw I that know. part away. Hey. Hey. <laughs> His head? Oh, no. You, <laughs> hey, you don't like to worry about it. They're going to they gonna take care of it. Yeah, you okay. throw uh, that away. But so that's my, so my, my, hey, that's not a problem. In okay. short, you're saying the line, no problem. Lion King Keith, right. find, find something else right. to worry about. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there Keith, you go. don't let right. that bother you. No, right. Lose no that's sleep. That's not a problem. Okay. The circle that's of just, life. That's just nature taking its course. I okay. mean, but I wouldn't want a bunch of roadkill like on my road. Well, no, no, because hey, look, what it's that's telling you is okay. Is that they're overpopulated? Ain't okay. nobody hunting over. So it ain't nobody. You know, nobody. So Jimmy Red ain't it's a good thing. Road it's a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, he wouldn't leave it behind. Oh, that's a good time. All right, we got one more yeah. problem to solve. All right, what's that? From my man Tyler in Georgia. Okay, Georgia's got a problem. It's okay. a lot. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. He's Tyler. trying to fix the Atlanta Falcons. Boom. <laughs> that's just a joke I do. Uh, si. I was try getting the lead late instead of early. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Uh, Tyler says, we have a huge coyote problem in Georgia. Okay. So how would you solve this? Does what it you Im- do is you I hope sick. it involves claymore. Hey, what you do is now <laughs> you oh. sick the hunters on them, okay? Yeah. Mojo makes put, a little thing. Hey, you can put like a 5 to $25 bounty on them. Mm-hmm. Okay, and trust me when $5 I tell you. $5 a tail. $5 a tail, okay? Look, Georgia is full of rednecks. Well, like hey, you give any redneck $5 a tail for critters. Uh, hey, just get ready because you, here comes a bunch of tails. Hey, pay the money. Yeah, I agree. Do okay. do copy what Louisiana did with the Nutria program. Oh, <laughs> give them boys five dollars a $5 tail. Five dollars a tail, oh, and yeah. all of a sudden the Nutria hey. are manageable. Population, yeah, population went down big, significant, okay, and quick. Yeah, yeah, we killed we killed a bunch of Nutria. Oh, yeah, you still about? do. Yeah, to this day. Yeah. South Louisiana, hey, that pop in the head and heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they make a sauce pecan out of yeah. it. Yeah, okay. And then sauce they eat it. Okay. Well, a nutria, I like a hey. sauce pecan, but not with hey. a nutria. Well, oh, hey. nutria meat is clean. Yeah. Hey. Nah. Look. Very clean. They're He's vegetarian. A, vegetarian. Look, they're vegetarian for crying out loud. But I've seen them. 
It doesn't matter. I only like eating. Hey, the just pretty because animals. he's got a slick tail like <laughs> you a big like rat. squirrel. <laughs> Gotta oh. be honest with you, I'm really not that. Hey, into I, no, no. Hey, that's my favorite. Got wild game. I know squirrel. you do. That's, that's a, a tree rat. That's all that is. A tree rat. And he's good. Okay, yeah. but again, hey, I mean, what he of. eats, okay, is buds off a tree. The leaves when they bud out. Yeah. Before they bud out. Acorns. Acorns. Hickory nut. Hickory nut. Hey, Beats what he mass. eats is clean and. Hey, and they love mushrooms. Oh no, yeah. love mushrooms. And they know the difference between the mushrooms. poison one and the good ones. Boy, well, they never me. know when they're shot. Hey. Yeah. Oh no, that's my favorite wild game. Squirrel. I could eat a dozen of them. They right make now. a fine gravy. Oh, what are you talking about? Ooh. All right. Well, let's nice take a gravy. quick break. We'll be quick back break. right after this. We got yeah. life advice Another after break. this. All right. Nice. You said we're going deep. We're we're how we're going to go deep, deep, but real quick, going? my man Wesley. He sent in pictures from his grandma's yearbook. And, she must and look at this, Ian. And hey, grandma must have been a, a rebel. Look at Cy Robertson. Yeah, number tied 10. Tied in number 10 for yeah. the North what? Caddo something or another. The North Caddo rebels. What were you the end of? Huh? I was. I played. You were a position. tiny little sucker. I played two positions, end and quarterback. I'm going to send that to the people so yeah. they can put it on YouTube, I hope. And on defense, I was a monster man. <laughs> You are we've, what? We've already talked about. Oh yeah, that. the yeah. Monster Man boys. Hey, I'm, I was a I'm bad sending dude. that picture to the I people. I was like, uh, uh, what's the guy that everybody hated? They said he was the nicest guy until he put on the uniform. Oh, that's weird. Disco, huh? Mike Ditka? Yeah, Disco. Yeah, Ditka. Ditka. Anyway, or oh, was it? No, no, I mean that. It Dick might, Butkus. Uh, Butkus. But that's yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Dick they Butkus? said, hey, this is the nicest guy there. But until until he puts on a uniform and then he turns into an animal. And we'll kill you. Wow. And there's even a little picture of <laughs> Cy with a smirk on his face. Oh, well, hey, from, I with a have tie a smirk on. on my face. Oh, he's always got a I smirk. I just really, right. Wesley, thanks for the pictures. Right. I right. needed to get that. Yeah, him that's the uh, Rebels. Go Rebels. North Cat Black, Black and red. Black and red. Hey, and matter of fact, hey, red. I got a, I got a, I had a, a bottle of black shoe bottles in my, in my pocket. Phil slammed the door on me and busted it. It cut my leg. I'm a true rebel. I bleed black and red, boys. Oh, boy. <laughs> North Caddo <laughs> Rebel. Hey, North Caddo <laughs> Rebel, boys. He's back in He's it. true, boy. He's true to it. He All bleeds right. black and red. Uh, and we got three advice questions, but two of them we're going to hit hard. Right. We're hit right. hard. Because we got an engaged couple and uh -oh. a retired couple. Uh -oh. So we're going to hit Oh, all. we got both spectrums We here. got both spectrums. So my man Justin from... Muncie, Indiana. Uh, is that where the Munsters live? I don't know. Oh, well, that's one. He's a career firefighter and an EMT. Hey, thank, thank you for you. your right. service, thank sir. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you, Justin. Yes, sir. Uh, and after multiple 24 hours shifts in a week, and he sees some things being an EMT, oh, yeah. EMT oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. He likes to get away and fish and camp and do those things with the boys. His question is, how does he tell his fiance that I love her more than anything? But sometimes I just need to do things with the guys to help unwind from the stressful work week without her wanting to join and without hurting her feelings. It's not that I don't want to spend time with her. It's just a different well, no, no. type of relaxation. No, no. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh, he'll be right back. Oh, uh, that's a good question. It is a good question. Here's and if she listens, now she knows. That's but, how you ask. Uh, Justin, I'm just going to say. Presentation will be key Very key. in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your presentation will be everything and, and in this. Your choice of wording. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully she's listening. Yeah. Because yeah. then we. But just anyway, gotta, oh, darling, you gotta understand something, okay? Yo, I love my redheaded wife, the mean little heifer. Okay, <laughs> dearly. Okay, but look, <laughs> me and her talked about this. Okay. Yo, know, his call. He needs his man time with the boys, just like hey. You probably want to go out with the girls, okay, and enjoy being with the girls. Yep. So That's you make time. You make time, okay. Look, here's the thing. You fell in love with this guy, okay. He was hunting and fishing and doing all this before, when you met him. Do not try to change him, darling. You learn to live with it, okay. Let him do the hunting and fishing, and then you go and – what baked pies or whatever you want to do with your friends, the girls. Okay, that way you both. He grew up in the get 1850s. Get time off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, they used to, it's kind of like Paula told me uh, after the fact, and I'd said this before. She she thought I was hunting and fishing because I was trying to get away from her, which you know I didn't, a lot of I people, didn't want to be around her. Which a lot of people but, do. But okay. you got yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's sad. But you just need to communicate and. Uh, just talk to each other and let each other know how you feel and you know respect each other's time yeah there's gonna be times when you need your time and uh, but it's not because neither one of you loves the other one less you just got to communicate communication is the key martin has a saying he uses in the office a lot open Communication and honest, honest communication. Oh, yeah. Open you gotta have it. With, hey, it works you in everything in life. It. Yep. And with it. with an honesty in capital letters. Yeah. I I would say much along the same lines is your fiance needs to be plugged in with a good group of girls, just like you're plugged in yep. with a good group of guys. Yep. That's right. Um, and she I think is. you can go to the book of Proverbs, and, and there's times in there where it's basically there's talking about men everything. need to be with men. Yeah. Because yep. it, it does strengthen you being with other men, just like being with other women is going to help strengthen her. Mm-hmm. Like God said, I don't go hunting and fishing to get away from Brittany. And most of the time, I take her with me. <laughs> I'm, I mean, yeah. she, but I, there's every yeah. now and then I look at her and she's like, Where are you going? I'm going fishing. And she knows if I didn't invite her, then I need my time. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, and my time a lot of times is actually a long time, like with nobody. Yeah. So, um, and she respects that, and she knows that whenever if I didn't say, "Hey, do you want to go?" and I just say, "Hey, I'm going fishing," she knows that there's something in me yeah. that needs to go be alone yep. for a little minute yep. to to process some things or whatever that life has to throw at you. Um, you know, so just just be open and honest. From the start, don't try to hide it. Don't try to be clever and get around it. But also come off in a way that is extremely loving and respectful of your future spouse. Because like so I said, presentation is key, key. in this regard. Well, so. now, and back on it, I'll say it one more time, okay? Don't try to change, okay? You fell in love with him. He, he was doing it when you fell in love with him. And for heavens, Pete, mm-hmm. don't be that guy that says you need girls' time. And then when they go out with their girls, you're texting and calling, asking when you're going to be home and doing all this, doing the same thing. Let her a lot have of time. her time. Mm-hmm. Let her have her time. She'll Let be her. home. She's yeah. coming home. Yeah. Ain't no yeah. big deal. Because yeah. all that stuff works both ways. I've seen I've seen all sides of that stuff. And yeah. Thank goodness, praise the Lord, I haven't had to deal with either side of that. I, I, I got me a good one that understands. So. Yep. All right, next question. We're going to go kind of the opposite. Patricia, we don't know where she's from, labeled this retirement advice. Mm-hmm. Here, I'm just going to read it word for word. Do it. Help! Exclamation point. My husband and I are very much in love, but we're driving each other crazy. <laughs> Exclamation point again. <laughs> How do we spend the days and still love each other? <laughs> My oh, advice. they're both retired. Together? They're both yeah. retired. They're okay. at home. Oh, no, no, no. It's 2020 yeah. all over again at Patricia's <laughs> here, house. Here's oh, the thing, man. both of here. you. <coughs> Excuse me. Both of you need to find a hobby. <laughs> Hobbies are important. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You need something that hey, you go do by yourself, and your hubby goes yeah. and do something by himself. Okay. Yeah. That way, when you're together, you won't be at each other's throat. Patricia, can I make a suggestion? Buy your husband a boat. <laughs> oh, hey, I like that. Yeah. You're hey, welcome. And Mr. not Patricia only that, husband. that may be something you can do together, and yeah. it's really fun. fun. And you it know? gets you out of the house. And it gets you yeah. out of the confines of them four walls. Yeah. Buy a yeah. boat, grow a garden, find something that takes up your free time other than just sitting there looking at each other. Then, Because yeah. when you do that, you do start to get on each other's nerves. Bake bread. Bake and, bread. I, and the big D is looming near. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you can't get alone. I don't, I don't know if she's from Dallas or not. I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I'm Lord. interested well, I ain't to know how long here. they've been retired together. Well, that's yeah. a good question. When I, when I uh, first come to work for Duck Commander after I was doing all that shift work, and then I was home every night with Miss Paula. I thought we was fixing to have to get some marriage counseling or something. And it was, uh, it was, 
it was a little different. Uh, but we would do stuff. We would entertain uh, people. They'd come over to the house, and we'd play games and cook out. And and then, you know, we just worked our way through it. Yeah. Well, no, that's a good point. Find uh, like-minded people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hang out. And hang, hang out. out. Yeah. We got people yeah. at our house. Uh, my yeah. wife yeah. will invite yeah. someone over every night of the week yeah. if it was up to her. Yeah. I'm like, I need a little... Ooh, mm. But that's a good one. Mm. Entertain. Cook dinner for people. And then our last email on the day, my man Juan Carlos. I think his name's like Juan Carlos, like mine's John David. It's like a double name. We'll call him JC. JC asks, there's this girl that I like, and I need y'all's best advice to start talking to her. Help. Hello. Here's my advice. <laughs> you need to walk straight up to her, look her in the eyes, and say, hi, my name's Juan Carlos. Would I'll, you like to go eat dinner sometime? Yeah, I'll pick no. you up at seven. Yeah. There hey, it is. <laughs> or, or you can go up and tell her, hey, you good looking thing, you. Hey, I ain't no way I'm going to be able to live without you. Would you like to go have dinner with me? I like yeah. that too. And, and if I'll, dinner is and too intimidating, if dinner is too intimidating, start movie. with coffee, ice yeah. cream, yeah. I'll, I'll, ice cream. I'm an ice movie. cream man. Yeah, Something. yeah, ice cream. The most important thing you can do is just do it. Yeah, well, you right. just yeah. walk up, right. open yeah. and honest, and say, yeah. "Hey, yeah. I think we'd have fun together. Right. Let's go hang out sometime." I would just, just me I, and you. Yeah, I, I do not know any woman that would not like hearing, "Hey, you good-looking thing, you." <laughs> I want to take you out. Johnny D. I'm going to say him, that Tell tonight. him your line from college. <laughs> no. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, J.D. It worked every uh, time. Well, well, ask ask, right ask Cy. Ask Cy. Act like Cy is a girl and you're going to pick him up. People are going to judge me. No, this is fantastic. J.D. Though. J.D. I, I, so J.D. I would, J.D. All right, Juan. Here's J.D. the line. Hey, J.D. No, J.D. I'm going to tell hey, Juan the line. You, I'm going to tell Don't Juan the line. It worked on my wife, Juan. You walk straight up to her and say, hey, I don't know her name. You want to go get a pizza and make out? And when she <laughs> looks at you funny, you got to be quick, though. You say, what? You don't like pizza? There you go. Boom! Icebreaker. <laughs> and everybody then they laughs. Look, everybody laughs, and next thing you know, you're eating pizza, and then there's only one thing left to do after yeah. that. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, I'd have, I'd have answered that just definitely. I'd have said, you got a problem with making out there, darling? <laughs> no, no. No. You ask them why they don't like pizza. They laugh. You lighten the mood. Everything's cool. And then you're like, I'll pick you up at seven. And next thing there you know, you go, you're, at, you're at Johnny's Pizza. Hey, look, and next go. thing you know, you're married and you got ten kids. Thank there you. you go. Hey. And living happily ever after. I mean, that, that the world needed to know that. <laughs> that's, that's a good right. one. That's you want to go it, get a pizza and make works. out works. It. it works every time. <laughs> You at least get pizza, and yeah, that's a good right. thing. Just stay away from Imagine hey, Dragons. I like it because, boy, hey, you know, I get to laugh. It's something funny, okay, which is a good thing. Oh, boy. Who wants a Bible verse? Yeah, right. let's end this thing. Wrap it let's up, Let's end y'all. this thing. Oh, give us one about freedom, J.D. Oh, I already have one about bread of life. Well, give me that one then. You like that one? Yeah, that'd be all right. I like freedom, and I like bread. Well. We'll give us one for each. Let's go with John chapter 6. We're going to read a little bit here. Uh, so they asked him, this is verse 30, what sign, will we, what sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Yeah. The yeah. bread of life yep. is the Jesus life. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Speaking that is the bread. duck call room. Amen. Speaking Goblin. Bread. Get back on that. Get back on that uh, bread. Get on that side let's, let's take it to the house. We'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. Right here in the duck call room. Kids, don't use that line.